Hello everyone, my name's Frank and I'm glad that you're here. I had somebody comment on one of my videos that they couldn't get their iPad audio to go out into Teams for their audience. Um, it's not super easy. You can't just launch Teams on your iPad and send the audio out, but there is a way to do it. And in this video, I'll show you how. So I do have other videos on this channel on how to share Windows audio with Microsoft Teams, how to share Mac audio with Microsoft Teams, now with Windows, it's as simple as just flipping a little switch, and I'm gonna show you that again in this video. And with the Mac, unfortunately, Apple doesn't allow that system level access to the audio. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but I do have a workaround where we use a third-party audio mixer, and that allows me to push the system sound out on a Mac. But people say, well, what about an iPad? Well, I have yet another video on my channel where I show you how you can put the iPad screen onto a Windows machine using a tool called Reflector. I use this all the time. So this, you hear, here's my Windows machine and here's my iPad. And I can share this out with the audience. But people say, oh, what about sound? It's not a problem at all. When I use Reflector, let's just go into an application and listen. Hey, you hear that? So that audio is not coming from directly from my iPad at this point. That is coming through my iPad, and I'll just increase it a little bit. It's coming through my iPad and playing on my Windows machine. And if I go into the settings here, I can choose underneath the capture settings what I want. The system audio, the microphone, system sound, and microphone. So I can input all of this from the iPad. So in my case, I, I might want system and sound and microphone because then I can actually use my, my iPad as a, as a remote camera. For now, I'll just use system sound. But underneath here, I've now got this beautiful thing playing. I can show the students all this neat astronomy stuff. They're having a good time. I'm having a good time. So let's go into Teams and share this out. So underneath Teams, I'm going to start up a new meeting. And we'll just call this uh, iPad audio so we know what this is and I won't put my camera on and I'll just go ahead and join so now I've joined and this is my regular teams meeting but what I want to do is I want to share off my iPad audio so to do that I have to share my iPad now just to show you how this works if I go into the uh, more actions here I'm gonna start recording this meeting so I'll play back the recording so you can see what the participants see so I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna go into sharing and here's the trick again. Make sure you include the computer sound. So you're including the computer sound. Then you're going to share off. It's called AP Power Mirror. That's the one I'm using here. So I use Reflector on my Mac, AP Power Mirror on my Windows. And this is what the audience is seeing. You'll see this in the recording. And I can say, hey, class, isn't this cool? Listen to the sound. Did you enjoy that sound class? Okay, I'm gonna stop presenting and I'm going to go in and stop my recording and I'm going to leave the meeting. Let's go and look at that recording now. Okay, so now the meeting's recorded and saved. So let's open it up and it'll bring up the meeting. Now I actually had my microphone on as well as the microphone I'm using. So let's just go a little bit ahead here to the point where I'm demonstrating the iPad. We'll play it from there. Listen, listen to what the audience will hear. So my microphone audio is a little bit um, weird because I had both my meeting microphone and the recording microphone here. But just listen, you can hear the iPad audio coming through. There you go. So there's an example of how we can channel the iPad audio through my computer over to my audience using Microsoft Teams. I hope that was helpful. I like putting the iPad onto the screen of my computer for a lot of reasons. I really like to be able to sort of control it. I have multiple monitors. But uh, the other benefit, of course, is that by transmitting the audio from my iPad onto my computer, I can then include it with any Teams that I'm, uh, Teams meeting that I'm sending out. So I can take audio from my iPad. Now there's a caveat, I wanna warn you, it doesn't work for all media types, so you wanna test it for the specific thing that you wanna share out. So for example, if I'm using uh, some media applications, it, you know, results may vary, so make sure you test it out to make sure that that application allows you to play it through what's called AirPlay. Uh, a little bit of testing and you should be able to do most of the things you're wanting to do 
in the method that I showed you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, comment down below, like, share, and here's some more videos for you.